Does The Mandalorian Season 2 have a secret Mark Hamill cameo? This is the way, Star Wars fans, because on Tuesday they were given a sorely needed gift in the form of the first trailer for The Mandalorian Season 2. It had everything fans could have asked for. Baby Yoda, Gamorrean axe fights, Baby Yoda, Sasha Banks as a mysterious new character, and of course, the wee Baby Yoda. Unless, of course, you were asking for Ahsoka Tano or Boba Fett or Bo-Katan, in which case, I don't know, just wait till October 30th when Season 2 launches on Disney+. Plus. And if you want to know more about each and every little detail that we spotted in that trailer, make sure you check out yesterday's episode of Nerdist News because we broke it all down. I'll link to it in the description below. But what if I told you that in the upcoming season of The Mandalorian, we'd be getting yet another secret Mark Hamill cameo? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, thank goodness. Otherwise, it'd be kind of a bummer to proceed with this video. Now, this could be considered a spoiler if we're correct, so if you'd rather go in knowing even less than you do now, we'll make like Baby Yoda and change the channel to something else. <laughs> Are you still with us? Great. Okay, so the reason I said another secret Mark Hamill cameo is because the artist formerly known as Luke Skywalker actually already filmed a stealth cameo for season one of The Mandalorian. As revealed in Disney Gallery, The Mandalorian's final episode, Hamill provided voiceover for the droid bartender in the Mos Eisley Cantina on the show's fifth episode. Now, according to Jon Favreau, that droid drink slinger is named EV-99, and you may remember it from torturing other droids in Return of the Jedi. So who exactly is Mark Hamill playing in The Mandalorian Season 2? Well, according to our resident Bothan spy master, Lindsay Romaine, and seemingly confirmed by some eagle-eared and eagle-eyed commenters, Mark Hamill provides the pipes for that one-eyed alien we see towards the end of the trailer with Din Djarin and Z Child at that underground fighting arena on what may or may not be the smuggler's mood of Nar Shaddaa, but whether or not he survives that encounter remains to be seen. While this cameo is yet to be confirmed by Disney, Lucasfilm, or Mark Hamill himself, enough folks out there are pointing to this specific Cyclopean character as the likeliest candidate for a second round of secret cameo. Far less likely to come to pass is that we'll see Luke Skywalker himself in a surprise reveal that would rival even seeing the wee baby Yoda's adorable little face for the very first time. So according to a new fan theory by the mediocre critic on Reddit, which we spotted via Esquire, it posits that while Ahsoka Tano aids the Mando and the Child on their quest to find the Jedi and Yaddleville, or wherever we baby Yodas come from, they'll make their way to Dagobah in search of we adult Yoda, only to learn that that Jedi Master has shuffled off this mortal coil. What they do find there instead is Luke Skywalker, who wants to build a Jedi Academy to train others and revive the Jedi Order, something we know that he tried to do and ended tragically by the time of the sequel trilogy. When Ahsoka reveals her connection to Luke's father, he asks her to join him to help train this new generation of Jedi, but she ultimately refuses him. And here's maybe my favorite part of this fan theory. Ahsoka is going to reply with a variation on something Luke will tell Rey years later. The Jedi fell because of their hubris, arrogance, and hypocrisy. Their legacy is one of failure. You are romanticizing the old ways and repeating the same mistakes. Sometimes it's best to let the old ways die. Hmm, maybe he just loves A Star Is Born. Now, honestly, considering Ahsoka's complicated relationship with the Jedi and her general disillusionment with them, it feels fitting that she wouldn't want any part of this. But while this feels like an excellent piece of fan fiction as a theory... Amazing. Every word of what you just said was wrong. Okay, Luke, a little harsh, but your point is well taken. For better or for worse, I think Mark Hamill is effectively done playing Luke Skywalker for the foreseeable future. At this point, he prefers to do the kind of subtle, sneaky voiceover cameos like we saw in The Mandalorian Season 1, rather than suit back up as Luke. See you around, kid. Besides, between Boba Fett, Bo-Katan, Rex, and Ahsoka Tano, we're gonna get plenty of familiar faces in Season 2. So go ahead and pour out your green milk on the space curb for that theory, and keep your eyes and ears peeled for Mark Hamill as we rapidly approach The Mandalorian Season 2 on Disney+. In the meantime, tell us, what do you think? Is that actually Mark Hamill in the Season 2 trailer? What do you hope to see happen this season? Let's discuss in the comments below. And for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, make sure that you stay tuned to Nerdist.com.